Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Today we are going to have something very different. We need to feed our spirits and yeah. So if you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here with us, welcome back. I think that I feel I should share for to encourage someone outside there about faith. The first question that I'm going to ask is where is your faith placed? Is your faith placed in the blessings of God? Or is your faith placed in God himself? I'm going to give a scenario of a product. When you're going to buy something, you really look at, into the product. But have you ever thought about the manufacturer? Do you think the manufacturer who do you think or what do you think the manufacturer of the product is much is it's more important than the other and i believe you're going to say the product I believe you're going to say the product because that's what you want that is the thing that yeah you want and i got it so it matters to me a lot but it says in this sense, if the manufacturer was not there at the first place, would the product e exist? No. So in as much as the product is important, the manufacturer is very, very much important. And that's the same case with our faith. Right now, I know you're going to say my blessings are more important to me. Uh, I am blessed. I have a car. I have a home. I have a family. I have everything that I want. It's okay, no problem. But who is the blesser? <laughs> have you thought about it? Well, you're like, as long as I have it, it's my right. It's not your right. No. The source. Where is the source of your blessing? The source of, of my blessing is God. The source. He's the manufacturer of my blessing. And that's where I should place my faith. Because every other thing is temp it's temp it's temporal every other thing is temporary every other thing the only thing that the, the only thing that are not temporary is god yeah. and jesus his son the manufacturer is important just as the product so we can just read the book of john chapter 6 verse 28 to 33 and says jesus said to them I tell you the truth, it is not Moses who has given you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So this is Jesus who was talking to his disciples. Because the disciples were like, we follow Moses because of the manners, we follow, you know, because of the the things the miracles that he has been doing and they didn't know that he didn't do them but it's god so jesus was telling was trying to convince them that it's not moses who gave them the bread but it's god and god give you their two blood their, 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 their two breads the bread of blessing and the bread of life so it's a matter of you to know do you want to feed your belly or do you want to feed your spirit? By the bread of the bread of blessing is where you are blessed, you have got what you want when you ask God, then He gives you everything that you want. But there's the, the there's the bread of life. How often do you feed your spirit? How often do you replenish your spirit? How do you how, when do you feed your spirit? Or are you just like I wanna feed my my, my baby? And it's okay but you have to feed your spirit you have to feed your spirit as much as you feed your body you have to speak to, to feel your spirit because before something happens in the physical realm it does happen in the spiritual realm and uh, if I am contemplating on committing a sin I don't start by doing the sin I first start by contemplating the sin in my mind that means it's in the spiritual realm before it comes to the physical 
so everything that you do even if you're planning to buy something if you're planning to do a project before you do it you have thing to think about it so feed your spirit pray about everything if there's someone who say that if you make prayer a habit it's gonna become your lifestyle it's not easy but it's easy as in if you keep on doing it just like perfect perfect sorry practice practice makes perfect even in prayer life if you keep on practicing the holy spirit is going to keep on leading you on how to pray because we don't pray by ourselves the holy spirit comes and help us to pray so the moment you keep on practicing practicing you get an interaction with the spirit you get you get a relationship with the spirit mm. and you grow spiritually you feed your spirit you feed it needs to be fed it needs to be filled so there's a there's this saying that do not do not place do not place your activities how is it said let me see i think i have it do not put your faith in the activities of god because he may not act in the way you expect him to do and that does not mean that he's unfaithful neither does it mean he's untrustworthy it simply means that the purpose and will are not always completely visible in our in in our in our limited perspective of life of things god his ways are not our ways the bible says that his ways are not our ways and if you keep that in mind you will you will learn you will get so many revelations like on on another video i was asking people is do we do, do would you still trust god if you're in a hospital bed we do still trust god if you don't have rent we do still trust god if you have you have been trusting that god is going to bless your children and one of your children get into drugs becomes a thief will you keep on trusting god where will your faith be where is your faith just know where place your faith in a position where it is not going to stumble at any point that if i don't have rent i'm going to trust that god is going to provide but if i'm in a hospital bed it does not matter that the blessing of the blessing that comes with that i will not be seeing the part that i'm in a hospital bed but i will be seeing the blessing that i am alive being alive itself is a blessing but we see it as if it's normal we live in a borrowed life the life that you're living is not yours my sister my brother that life does not belong to you you are living in a borrowed life so please let's trust in god and not the blessings that comes with trusting god just wait just like job if job was trusting god because of the wealth that he had what would have happened to him after he was tempted after everything everything was stolen from him everything he had nothing he still ran his wealth his animals nothing he was left with nothing but he still trusted in god why because his faith he had placed his faith in god and not in the blessings of god his motive in trusting god what is your motive when you're trusting god that's the question i'm going to leave you with today have a good and blessed day bye bye